Whatever New Yorkers made of the result in the cold light of morning, at least it meant an end to a campaign which has exhausted America. Joining the thousands of commuters boarding the Staten Island ferries to Manhattan, we found opinions as sharply divided as the nation itself. My reaction is fear. I'm really afraid. He got elected not on a message of coming together. He got elected on a message of tearing us apart, of not being a president for all of us. But just a few feet away, one man bursting with excitement at what the new day had brought. I'm the happiest guy in the world right now. I swear to God, I'm, the, I'm happy. I'm due for change, and so is everybody else, and this is the best thing in the world. Um, I did vote for him, I'm going to say that very proudly, because I wanted to change. I think we all did, but I'm still scary not knowing what the next four years is going to bring. And what about those who wanted Hillary Clinton to make history, their hopes and dreams now dashed? It was very disappointing. I was ready to have a first Madam President, which would have been exciting. It would have been pretty amazing. You know, as her being first lady in the White House, it would have been pretty amazing. And, you know, for my daughters, you know, I would be like, you know, you can be whatever you want to be when you grow up, but you just have to put your mind to it and focus. How soon do you think you'll see a woman in the White House? I think years from now. <laughs> I think years from now. It will always be a battle. For now, this fight for the White House is over, but just one short trip on a New York ferry shows the challenge to bring the country together is only just beginning.